All right, so it is um, January 1st, 2018. Man, I wanted to uh, just take take a little walk and uh, tell everyone or just tell people about my experience that I had. Just the odd reactions and uh, you know, kind of just an ongoing thing, but the odd reactions that you get from people that you care about, you know? And uh, anyway, last weekend, and I don't know what's going to be able to see on this video or not, and it's kind of late, I'm walking down the street, so I hope you can all hear this, but anyway, last weekend I was over at my parents' house uh, for Christmas. I was on Christmas Day, and uh, my brother and his family were over, my mom, my dad, and me, and my daughter, and uh, we're just sitting around after uh, after dinner, you know, and my mom's over doing her thing, but there's a few of us sitting around, and we started talking about the Bible, and my niece is going to uh, the Vanguard Bible College, I believe. Um, it's here in Southern California, and it's Bible College, and, you know, they're talking about... Well, we, we were just talking about different things, and she was talking about how the professor uh, didn't... One of her professors didn't like the King James Bible and whatever, and we were just talking about it, and I... I she, they were saying it wasn't reliable and all this and that, and I saw... I asked them if they knew about uh, Easter being in the King James Version... And, you know, my brother, he's like, oh, you know, we, we never, had never heard of that. And so my brother, he pulls his phone out and he starts reading the King James Version there in Acts 12. And sure enough, it says Passover. It doesn't say Easter anywhere. And so I, I'm thinking, oh, great. You know, is this another one of these flip-flops where you look like a fool because you told someone, oh, no, it was... I swear to you, this the other day, this thing was Tidy Cat, and now it's back to Tidy Cats, and they're going, right, it's been Tidy Cats the whole time. But, uh, <laughs> so I'm thinking, like, oh man, is this going to be another one of those? And, uh, so sure enough, let's see, should I take the trail here, or should I go down to the beach? Um, anyway, so sure enough, my brother... He, he's reading the thing, and I go, no, dude, it's, it says, uh, it says Easter there, you know, so, no, no, it says, it says Passover right here, I go, well, yeah, it should be Passover everywhere, so anyway, I go to the other room to get a physical Bible, and while I'm out there, he goes, oh, man, I just updated the I just updated my program and now all of a sudden it says uh, Easter. He goes, ah, that's pretty weird, you know. I go, exactly, that's what I'm saying. I brought out the, the King James Bible there and we're opening it up to Acts 12 and sure enough it's it says Easter in there, and I say, that this is what I'm talking about, you know, because I used to have conversations with, you know, non-believers and whatnot, or people that want to debunk, say, oh, Easter's not even in the Bible, you know, what are you celebrating it for? And I would agree with them, and I know about it being Ishtar and the whole bit, <clears throat> but uh, I still would want to defend the resurrection, and so, anyway, here on Christmas Day, there's several people sitting around. You know, my nieces, I've got two nieces, well, I have three nieces, but two of them were sitting there. And we were talking about it, and my brother, and 
So I know there was at least four or five of us sitting there. I can't remember. My mom heard us talking from the other room too because I asked him about John 3.16 and I was like, yeah, well, you know, Gandalf didn't stand before the Balrog and say, you should not pass. He said, you shall not pass. <laughs> and my Bible used to tell me that I shall not perish but have everlasting life. You know, it didn't say I should not perish. And uh, so, anyway, we're taught my mom, oh, it says should, you know, and she, she hears the conversation. And anyway, they've heard me talk about this before, you know, and I've brought up the things. And, but it was really weird that after that happened, it was kind of just like no big deal. Nothing even happened. Uh, you know, boy, that's really weird. I updated it and now it says, <laughs> now it says Easter in, in the, I don't know, whatever his thing is he has on his phone, you know. And it was just really odd to me, the whole thing, how it, it the whole thing is odd, you know colleges and what they're teaching and and the churches and what they're teaching and then what's really going on <laughs> like what the bible really says and doesn't say oh wow there's they're still chemtrailing us up there um i mean it's it's just a new day and uh, 2018 we'll see what this brings but um, yeah it was really odd you know I don't quite I, I'm interested kinda to see what more my brother has to say or think about it we never haven't spoken about it since then and um, you know I just to me I mean that's mind-blowing <laughs> Here, like nobody has heard of it and my brother reads it one minute and it says Passover and then he updates his thing like there goes the downloads right the people that can see the effect are not catching the downloads or there's something happening there maybe you know with the frequencies and the 5g you know we've got to get all these antennas close together and get get the frequency all spread out right across everything in the big mesh the web <laughs> and uh man it's somehow you know the frequency hits all of us in different ways too it's not just these updates like what we can see in history and things around us i mean it's our i think it affects our attitudes and our desires and man all of it and uh it's an amazing day we have an amazing day and so yeah you know let me all let let uh let me know what you guys think about that do you have you had similar reactions to things um have you had experiences where something will manifest like that you know when you're talking about it and then change uh, literally right in front of somebody's eyes um while you're <laughs> like going to the other room of course to to get the king james you're either going to prove their you're either going to prove their program wrong or it's going to update which is really weird you know of course oh, all of a sudden there's an update but I'm glad my brother, I was, it was the first time where I've ever been talking to a family member and been able to say, see, I've been telling you this stuff's weird. <laughs> and, you know, normally I, it's, uh, doesn't, it doesn't pan out that way. And I haven't really talked to my brother uh, super in depth, uh, about the ME, but, uh, you know, growing up I was, not really super close with my brother um, he is my younger brother by about three years 